the positive charges collect near the upper edge of the clouds and the negative charges accumulate near the lower edges. There is an accumulation of positive charges near the ground also. Since air is a poor conductor, it stands as a barrier between the clouds and ground and does not allow the charge to pass. When the magnitude of accumulated charges becomes very large, the air is no longer able to resist the flow of charges. So, the charge from the clouds get discharged suddenly. This discharge may take place between the clouds or between earth and cloud. So, the negative and positive charges meet producing the streaks of bright light and sound. The process is called electric discharge. Lightning is very dangerous because the accumulated charge gets discharged on objects such as tall buildings, trees and also on animals. Lightning strikes could destroy life and property. It is therefore necessary to take measures to protect ourselves. During lightning and thunderstorm, no open place is safe. Hearing a thunder is an alert to rush to a safer place. After hearing the last thunder, wait for some time before coming out of the safe place. A question might arise, which is a safer place during lightning? I'll tell you, a house or a building is a safe place. If you are travelling by car or bus, you are safe inside with windows and doors of the vehicle shut. How can you stay safe inside a metal body of a car? Are you thinking about that? I'll tell you. A car or a bus is safe during lightning because the lightning will travel around the surface of a vehicle and then go to the ground. The metal frame of car being a good conductor would direct the current around the object and discharge it safely to the ground while shielding the objects inside the car. If no shelter is available and you are in an open field, stay far away from the trees. Stay away from the poles or any other metal objects. Do not lie on ground. Instead, squat low on the ground. Place your hands on your knees with your head between your hands. This position will make you the smallest target to be struck. Lightning conductor is a device used to protect buildings from the effect of lightning. A metallic rod taller than the building is installed in the walls of the building during its construction. One end of the rod is kept out in air and the other end is buried deep into the ground. The rods provide an easy route for the transfer of electric charges to the ground. The metal columns used during construction, electric wires and water pipes in the buildings also protect us to an extent. But do not touch them during a thunderstorm. Let's discuss some of the useful effects of lightning now. Number one, during rain, when the lightning strikes, nitrogen and oxygen of atmosphere combine to form nitric acid after a series of reactions. Rainwater brings this nitric acid to the earth. Nitric acid reacts with some alkalis to form nitrates. These nitrates serve as plant food and are responsible for their growth. Number two, electric discharge during lightning results in the formation of ozone from oxygen. 